question of the day. Well, I had an interesting conversation with a client, Eric Sedlar, uh, the head of Oracle, uh, when real estate was going online and everyone was afraid that realtors would become extinct. Obsolete. So I had to pick his brain and he said, realtors will never ever become obsolete because you need to have the personal relationships. And that gave me a great deal of comfort. I also think that realtors are really important because they're seeing things from an angle that the buyer or the seller are not. And they obviously, like if you find a good realtor, it's like finding a gold mine because that person is gonna save you money, make you money, or get you what you want. And, and keep you out of trouble. And keep you out of trouble and keep you in line and legal bounds because they know what to do. And the, the thing is, realtors are a dime a dozen, okay? We all know a realtor. We all have a friend, family relative, who's a realtor, they're everywhere. It's not hard to get your license. However, it is extremely hard to be a successful realtor. And we don't all know a lot of really successful realtors that are living the dream, that own their home, that know what to do, and that are willing to go to bat for you in a transaction process, right? Correct, Amundo. I mean, I have an example. Can I give an example? Give an example. Um, because I'm always like, Stacy is incredible at what he does. He's like, if there's such thing as prodigious in real estate, I feel like Stacy is. And is he's just mean? like a prodigy. I don't know. I just feel like you're so natural and you're so good. And I learned so much from you in real estate. And one example is my cousin is going to be. Um, writing an offer on a house. She's been looking for a while. She finally wants to buy a house. She's ready. She found something she loves. It's this beautiful little house. And um, she, and you know, there's an asking price and there's a, an offer date. And so she was talking to me about it. And I was just going to go more the, of course, I was going to talk to Stacy about it. But, you know, I was thinking more of the traditional route. Like my mind was sort of already set on how we would approach it. And then I spoke to Stacy and sent Stacy the information and then Stacy looked at it and Stacy, being experienced for 20 years, knowing exactly how the market works for the most part, knew what to do to get her that house. But anyways, my point is that, that what Stacy has taught me about being a good realtor is you can't be shy about that. You've got to negotiate and just be strong for your client. Well, going back to my story, the sort of essence of that story is the main reason there's real estate agents. One is to protect the best interest of the client. Um, that's our fiduciary responsibility. And two, if there weren't agents involved, almost every transaction would wind up in a lawsuit because a buyer and a seller would just wind up getting in a fight over something as trivial as termite damage. And then all hell breaks loose and we have lawsuits and stuff. So it's the realtors that really um, fight and scrap with each other and uh, do all that for the buyer and the seller. And legally. Legally. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, having a good realtor can make the difference in the sales price. Um, the experience that the seller has, is it stressful, is it a great experience? Um, I mean, there's just so, it's a 24 seven job. I mean, it never stops. Uh, people are always demanding and, um, you know, you just constantly have to be providing service. And I don't know how a buyer or seller would do that on their own uh, with all that's involved. And how does it usually go? I mean, there's like for sale by owners. But you never even see for sale by owners anymore, you know? Because I think they've learned that it's just too gnarly to try and represent yourself. And, and people who, sellers who try and represent themselves think they're saving money on the commission when they're actually probably losing money because they're not having professional rep representation give them guidance on what they should be doing with their home as far as preparing it for sale and then as far as negotiating the price and then having to negotiate the inspections and there are just so many steps in the process and uh 
and agents, they know, agents take it off everybody's plate basically right and they know what they're doing right like experience is always the best teacher so you can read about how a house is sold you can take your your test and get your license but until you experience a transaction you really don't know how it's gonna flesh out because there's people involved in transactions and people are always unique and different and there's no textbook for human beings. So I think that like for sale by owners, they don't have any experience or maybe they've sold like their last home and this home and that's it. But you have somebody like Stacy who has years of selling you know, thousands of homes and that's priceless. I don't know about thousands, that's an awful lot, but. How many do you think? Hundreds. Hundreds. Over 600 probably. Yeah, I mean the other really important thing of a realtor is, uh, we talked about kind of the selling process, but like Megan said, if you have a client that wants a house and they're in competition, well the person who's gonna win that battle is somebody who has a good realtor. All realtors are not created equal. Mic drop. So, was that like, <laughs> is that Franklin D. Roosevelt? No. All presidents are not created. Or was that Bill Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>